Hello my loves, welcome back to another video. My name is Amy if you're brand new to this channel. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you what I got during the holiday seasons. I know there's a lot of these what I got for Christmas videos floating around. There's a little bit of everything. There's a bunch of clothing, jewelry, there's some skincare. This beautiful teddy coat is so soft and really really beautiful and it is a really nice dupe of the Maxmara teddy bear coat. So this version is actually from Aritzia. Aritzia is Canadian and the brand that made this is Babaton and I got it in the double extra small. It's very oversized. Even this smallest size here is really, really, really overwhelming. But it is a teddy style. It does shed a little bit of the fur, I feel. Like you'll find some of it on your uh, car seat and whatnot, especially if it's a dark color. With the weather here in Vancouver, it doesn't get too too cold i mean we still get minus 10 minus 15 maybe minus 20 on a really cold winter but otherwise this is really warm already as it is so i didn't really need the, the real thing plus i wasn't ready to spend four thousand dollars on the real thing anyway real meaning the actual maxmara teddy coat the second coat here is probably a little hard to see but it's also from aritzia and it's double breasted with this beautiful collar detail. It has this really nice camel texture to it, so it won't pale and it's just it just looks very luxurious, feels very luxurious when I wear it. It just drapes really nicely. It's slightly oversized. Um, I tend to always go for the double extra small size in the Babaton at Aritzia anyway, uh, even for my other style coats, which the Sedman coat has been my favorite for many years. But this year I invested in these two new coats because they're the newer styles and I kind of like the oversized look because I'm able to wear blazers underneath. This is very similar to the Madame coat from Max Mara but without the tie, without the waist tie. So I really really like the look uh, but it's at a fraction of the cost. It is slightly on sale right now which is a little bit of savings but the moment it goes on sale at Aritzia, you cannot refund it, you can only exchange it, so keep that in mind. One of the items you've already seen, I've worn it several times already, so I've even worn it in one of my videos. This is a self-portrait top. It's a beautiful pleplum top with lots of ruffling details. This is part of the other sleeve, and this is the shoulder part, and this is the back. So the back is slightly mostly exposed with one shoulder strap. I got it in a size 8 in the UK 8 which is equivalent of a small but self-portrait is made very small. They tend to run small especially the ones that are cinched in at the waist. Otherwise in UK size I should be a 6 but because self-portrait is made quite small I always end up taking the 8 unless it's a very flowy style then I could be a 6 but 8 is usually a great size for me. There is enough room to sit and to breathe and to eat. This next one, I bought it at Luisa Via Roma when they were having their sale on sale. So I picked up this brand new dress. I haven't worn yet because it's still kind of cold, but I'm definitely looking forward to going on vacation and wearing this. It's a beautiful self-portrait dress with ruffling details on one shoulder. It's an asymmetrical style and it's a mini dress. Again, I took it in a size 8, UK 8. The last luxury item that I picked up during the sales is from Saint Laurent and it is a pair of their famous slides. This is called the Nupier Slides. It comes in this really beautiful, very substantial, heavy box actually. So even the box and the packaging is so superior. Beautiful dust bags two of them. So I got these beautiful slides in the navy color and it's in this grained leather. So as you can see it almost looks black and that's why I love them because um, I guess it's not as harsh as black but it's still really dark so it's very neutral and plus this color was on sale so it was a no-brainer. Bottom and it's also lined in leather. They seemed comfortable enough when I tried them on. I did take it in a 37 and a half which I think is my true to size for flat shoes. So whenever I wear flat shoes I have to go a half size up just because I have flatter feet and it tend to like collapse. Whereas when I wear heels, I tend to go a size down because 
my toes and my feet is curled and I don't need that big of a size and my feet size is it's not narrow it's not wide it's just kind of regular medium width so I thought they were pretty comfortable when I tried them on I guess we shall see I have a bit of an issue with my joints so I don't really ever bend down if I don't have to to tie my shoes for that reason slides and even heels that you can just slip your feet in are usually my friend so I'm looking forward to wearing these hopefully during a vacation or in the summer obviously and hopefully they'll be comfortable I know that they won't be as comfortable as you know shoes that have real arch support but I did want something that was a little bit more dressy when I wear my pretty dresses if you've been enjoying this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already I would love it for you to subscribe and join my YouTube family I would really really love to have you back anyway the next thing that I got during the holidays are these new sunglasses and they are actually from PR so I actually did get these sent to me um, by a really nice company called TIJN buffing cloth that's packaged and there's this little tag here that says that their materials are made of plant extracted cellulose material 100% biodegradable and it's free from hazardous substance, eco-friendly, green for the environment. I got two pairs and they come with these also soft cases, which I really, really like. There's the branding here on the bottom, slightly embossed. And I really like these soft cases. They're very easy to travel with. In fact, I might just use these cases with my other sunglasses. I got all of them with no prescription because I do wear contacts already, but you could also get the lens with prescription as well so these are the first pairs that i got i wanted something really cute and i wanted the frame to be transparent like clear glass so these are them they're very very cute they are also polarized which makes them great for driving the branding here on the side of the arms and then um, it also has the branding on the inside of it and this is the front of it and the back of it they're very lightweight these next pair I got in this pouch are really really cool they are a pink very sort of um, like the lens is very um, I guess really bright and cool and I don't know if these ones would give you as much sun protection but more so for like days that are just slightly bright but not so much and I like that these have these cool pink colored lens sometimes I don't want to bring my nicest things if I'm going to somewhere uh, let's say amusement park or whatnot like places that you can easily lose things because you're either like really on the go all the time or lining up with a lot of people I feel like these would be perfect for those occasions finally got a case for my airpods pro Huex pastels and it is a durable polycarbonate casing with a silky soft rubber finish these ones are great because they also come with an extra carabiner which you can also attach to your case so there you have it this is the one that is on my airpods pro there's this space here this little loop here where you can attach the carabiner so it's great when you travel and when i'm not traveling i just have it as is it's no problem they're also compatible with um wireless charging as you can see there's this little hole here where you can see the green lights so they look like that they're very cute very well made they also have other ones i ordered one that's um like a faux leather one from my husband but it hasn't uh, arrived yet so i'm waiting for that one this next item was also kindly sent to me by julia i've worked with them a few times and then uh, during the holiday they asked me if i wanted to choose something from their customizable jewelry section so of course i said yes because i mean i get to customize something to my own liking with the stones that i choose colors that i choose like combinations that i choose on my own but also uh, it gives me the opportunity to really see if all their products whether pre-made or 
customized are the same quality and I'm so happy that they are exactly the same high quality and craftsmanship that I expected from them. So I went ahead and chose a customized ring. I could technically have chosen anything but I just went with a ring and uh, it comes with beautiful packaging always. So this is just the inside box. It also comes with an outside box with a little shopping bag like that. It comes with a whole package. And so your ring comes in like this with the little tags attached. So once you cut off this tag, then it's not returnable. I went with the rose gold plating on sterling silver. So it's a beautiful rose gold ring. And then with the stones, I was able to customize the different color stones that I wanted. So I wanted a fuchsia stone, like little tiny stones around the ring. In the middle stone, I decided to go with their black diamond. It's not really diamond, it's their in-house stones that they make and they're very, very pretty. It's so shiny and I love the outcome of it. I feel like this is a conversational piece. It's not in your face because I did choose a dark stone and then pink stones and then the, um, I guess the rose gold plating is kind of muted and blends in with my skin. My ring size is really 475 but I just went with size 5 because it didn't have in between size. They do have 4.5 but I feel like 4.5 would be too small on some days. Um, so yeah, this is a really beautiful ring. What do you guys think? It's really, really pretty. It would be really hard to show you how nice it is because right now you can't really see it sparkle in different lightings it really sparkles there's a little ruby well fuchsia colored stone here in the middle too it's like the attention to detail is so amazing um and like i said you can choose any colored stones in the middle on the sides and even the color of your ring i often get asked about my skincare routine and even like a new makeup routine and honestly it's very very simple like the things that i do i don't really change it around very much but i did buy these two products which are brand new i did pick these up at um early december i want to say so i've had a chance to really use it for a good few weeks now and I really really like it that's why I want to talk about it um, for those of you who are wondering about my skincare routine I do have an older video where I got ready on screen and showed you the products that I use in general I just use organic products and I stick with a couple of brands these are by the brand Evan Healy or Evan Healy and not, not sure how to pronounce it I picked up the rose petal facial tonic hydrosol so it's basically a rose petal toner I suppose and it's a really beautiful mist and it smells so good I love any rose products any natural rose products uh, and by the way, I always check the ingredient list because even if it's marked as a natural product, they sometimes still put fillers or, you know, preservatives and I avoid any of those. I did also pick up this oil. It is the Rose Hip Treatment Facial Serum in the blue bottle. So they have a few lines. So they have the blue, they have the rose, and they have, I believe they have like a purple and a green one. And they all are slightly different. The blue one is good for sensitive skin. And so the reason why I picked up the blue is because I didn't really use a facial oil before. Anytime you add on or adapt to a new skincare product, I think it's best to go with the sensitive line first just to see how well your skin adapts to it. And plus, oils are tricky. I think sometimes they can break you out, but they are essentially they are supposed to be good for your skin so i went with the sensitive line use my existing moisturizer add a pump of that oil and a pump of the hydrosol and then mix it up on my face and it makes it into this beautiful moisturizer that is a little bit more rich like more oily but very emollient makes your skin super soft um, and of course i still use you know the rose toner from the vita i still use the um daily moisturizer from Devita. all those are still the same but i just added on this and it seemed to be extra beneficial especially for the winter months i did also want to show you one more thing this is what i got for 
as gifts for for little kiddos but i also ended up keeping one for myself and they are these ambient lights from this company called smoko they're so cute and that's why i wanted to show it here on um on video because i thought if you're looking for gift ideas especially for young kids so i have a couple of nephews that are age two and one and a half i got them some of those um some of our other nieces and family friends they also got we also got a few of those they have different shapes too they have it in shapes of sushi avocados um shiba inu they're very very cute so this one is um the toast and this is how they looks like when it's lit it's so cute like it's it's actually pretty bright the avocado is actually a hard plastic so i do warn you um, about the avocado but all the other shapes that i bought they're this nice soft hard plastic so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video of course i'm gonna have everything linked down below including any coupon codes if i have any of them to share with you i hope that you have an amazing day or week ahead of you and if you haven't subscribed already please do so i would love to have you back and i'll talk to you again very soon bye